How to fix logging loop issue on Forza Horizon 5. What's up everyone, in this tutorial I'll show you guys how you can easily fix the logging loop issue on the Forza Horizon 5. So if you guys are facing the problem here, what you need to do is first go to your search bar and then simply search for Credential Manager. Hit enter. And this will pop up on your screen. Now go to Windows Credentials. And here you'll find all of your generic credentials. So if you have logged into Xbox, it will show you something like this. So here you'll have your Xbox credentials. All you have to do now is click on this device key credential, click on this drop down right here. And then you're going to have to remove this credential from here. And then from here, you can close everything out and then go to your Xbox again and see if that works. But if that still doesn't work, then you're going to have to go ahead and remove all of these available credentials. There are around 12 to 13 credentials. Just go ahead and click each one of them, go to remove, and then just remove them. And once you've removed all of the credentials, you can just close everything out and go to your game. Uh, a tap on play, so you could find it on your library if you have the game. And you could just go ahead and play the game but it will ask you to log in again using your Xbox or any other credentials. Then after you log in, you should be able to play the game normally. If that doesn't work, there's one more thing you can try to do. So go ahead and open up your task manager, right click on the taskbar, go to task manager. And then from here, you can find your uh, Forza Horizon running here. Just right click on it and end task. So once you've done that, then you're just going to have to go to the services tab here and then find Xbox. So scroll all the way to the bottom until you find Xbox services, right click on this and then go to properties. If you can go to details or double click on it. And then you can just change the startup type here. So from here, tap on the three dots and open services. Now you can change the name to descending order. Go to Xbox Live Auth Manager. From here, go to properties. And then just change the startup type to automatic. Do this for all of the Xbox services and you should be good to go. That's pretty much it guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I'll catch you guys on the next one.